so hello students uh, welcome to the channel top gate uh, today we'll uh, discuss one of the one of the most important questions of uh, the pda that is uh, design a pda for uh, the language l is equal to a to the power n b to the power n now uh, this uh, question is often asked in the gate exams as well as it is a very often asked question in the university exams okay so we'll discuss uh, how to design a pda for a language l is equal to a to the power n b to the power n and remember uh, this uh, for this particular language the finite automata was failed so there was no uh, 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 finite automata available for the language l is equal to a to the power n b to the power n so let's see uh, how we design the pda for a n b n so the language that we have is a to the power n b to the power n where the value of n is greater than equal to 1 so we have this uh, language and in this language if we see if we keep the value of n as a minimum that is 1 then the language that we'll get will be a b fine so this should be the minimum language that should be accepted by the uh, pda uh, with nfa and the refa it is not possible so i'll tell you how to design this so we have a stack in this one as we have discussed discussed in the previous lectures that uh, uh, we have a stack uh, in a pda so uh, i'll take an input tape here and this one it has several cells so let's say we have a string as a a b b and then there is epsilon fine so we have to read this and the read uh, in this uh, read head this control unit is currently on the first a that we have here okay so I'll, I'll i'll just explain to you with the help of a stack how do we do this now what is the logic in this one the logic in this one is we have to make sure that uh, the number of b's should be put equal to the number of a's for this we have to count the number of a's first and then we'll put the number of b's first uh, in, uh, next so fine so how we'll do it so in this one what we'll do uh, we'll start reading the first a fine so as soon as we read the first a we'll read the first a for this a we will push one a into the stack Right. So, as soon as we read this first A, this first A will be pushing it into the stack. So, the stack will contain A. Right. Next, again if the A comes, then again we will read this A and then again we will push it into the stack. Right. So, as long as there are A's coming, we are continuously pushing it into the stack. Suppose there are two A's. So, for these two A's, we have pushed two A's into the stack. Right. Now, as soon as the first B comes, then what we will do? We will for every b we will pop out one a from the stack so for first b comes we'll push uh, we'll pop one a from the stack second b comes we'll pop one more a from the stack so in that way if in the end if we get only z naught then we know that the number of a's and the number of b's are equal fine so how do we do this so suppose there is an initial state we have this initial state as q naught fine so at q naught what we have to do First of all, the language says that the A will come first. First of all, the first A should be there. So what we have, so what I'll do because we have we are getting several A's here. So I will take a self loop here. Okay. And this self loop will work for all the A's. Fine. So the first A comes. So what how we'll write the transition here? That is the element to read is A. Fine. And and we have seen we, we know that in the stack there is a by default element that is z0 fine so z0 shows that the stack is currently empty so as long as the z0 is the topmost element in the stack it means the stack is empty fine so we have z0 onto the top of the uh, stack in this one fine so the element to read is currently a so we have a here i'll write a here and then the top stack element the top stack element is z0 fine so uh, a is the element to read z0 is the top stack element what we are doing the logic says that we whenever the a is coming we are pushing it into the stack okay so i'll just put set the status here of the stack that is the push operation that is a z naught that means a has come here and now a is on to the top of the stack now the pointer will come from this one to this one now again a a comes now what will happen now this transition will not work for the second day why because the first is in the first transition says that the top stack element is z0 but in this one we have a as a top stack element so because after this we'll be getting several a's so for this what i'll do i'll take one more transition that is the element to read is a 
the now the top stack element is a and we are pushing it so after pushing what we are getting we are again pushing it into the stack so what we are getting now we are getting a a so that means the push operation has been performed this time also fine so now this transition will work for all the a's so any number of a's will come all the a's will be pushed using this transition fine so all the a's will be pushed in now as soon as the first b comes now what the logic says the logic says that as soon as the b comes we have to pop one a for every b occurrence fine so what i'll do i'll go to some other state and say let's say it's it is q1 fine so what will happen first b comes that is that is element to read is b now the top stack element here is a so right now what we are doing we are reading this b the top stack element is a and what happens we are popping a a for every b so we have to say epsilon here Fine. So, epsilon shows that the pop operation has been performed. So, what happens? This A has been popped for this B. Fine. And we have reached onto the state Q1. Now, this pointer moves from this one to this B. Fine. Now, to this B, what happens? This transition will not work. Why? Because it is, we are onto the state now Q1. Now, at Q1, because there can several Bs that can occur. So, what will, what, I, what will I do? I will take a self loop here and add this one. The element to read is B. That is, we are reading currently this B. And the top stack element is, again, it is A. And what are we doing? We are popping a A for every B occurrence. So, I will put a epsilon here. Fine. This epsilon. So, this transition will work for every B. So, how many Bs are coming? For all the Bs, we are popping 1A. So, for this B, again 1A is popped out. Fine. Now, what is left into the stack? Z0. And the pointer will now move on to the epsilon. That is, epsilon shows that the string has now been completed. It is now over. So, I will take a one, move, one more move for epsilon. That is, the element to read is epsilon and the top stack element is Z0. And what happens? We are doing nothing. That is, we have to perform the skip operation. That is, we don't do anything now. Everything has been done. Uh, A's have been pushed. B's for B's. A's has been popped out. The stack is empty absolutely. So, what are we doing? We are doing nothing. We are leaving Z0 as it is. So, it is Z0. And we reached on to some final state. Fine. So, that is the end of the PD. That is, A to the power N, B to the power N. Now, let's see that uh, the, the transition function. That is, so, I will write transition for every transition here. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, all these things I will write here. What I will write? First one for this one, delta. That is the state where I am. This is Q0, comma. Then the element to process. This is A. Then the top stack element. This is Z0. Then where I, have I reached? So, I have reached on Q0 only. That is we started from Q0 and we again came back to Q0. So, what I will write? I will again write Q0 and what is the status of the stack? The status is A, Z0. That is, that shows the push operation. That we have performed a push operation here. Fine. Now, I will write for this one. That is delta. We started from Q0. The element to read is A. The top stack element is A. And where we have reached? We have reached on to Q0 again. And the operation on the stack that is a, A that shows the push operation that is two symbols means a push operation has been performed. Now for this one again delta we started from Q0 the element to process is B and the top stack element is A and where have I reached? I have reached on to Q1 comma epsilon that is that shows the pop operation fine. The next one for this one we have started from Q1, the element to process is B and the top stack element is A and where have we reached? We have reached on Q1 again. So, it is Q1 comma epsilon. That is the pop operation has been performed. And the final one, the last one, that is this one, that is delta. We have started from Q1 comma the element to read is epsilon comma the top stack element is Z0, where have we reached? We have reached onto the final state that is QF and what we have got in the stack, it is Z0, that is that shows the bypass operation.
fine so this is the pda for the language a to the power n b to the power n thank you so much